ABC is a triangle with integer valued sides AB equal to 1, BC greater than 1 and CA greater than 1. If D is the midpoint of AB, then which of the following options is the closest to the maximum possible value of angle ACD? First of all, integer sides. One side is 1. So think about it, integers, 1, x, y. If you say y is the longest side, we know 1 plus x is greater than y. Or 1 greater than y minus x. y minus x should be less than 1. y and x are integers. Difference between two integers should be less than 1. How is that even possible? Difference between two integers, how can it be less than 1? It can be only one instance, y is equal to x. Or if a triangle has integer sides and one of the sides is 1, other two are equal. 166 is a possible triangle, 155 is a possible triangle, 144, 133, 122. But 156 doesn't work, 167 doesn't work, 1810 doesn't work. If one of the sides is integer, if one of the sides is 1, other two are integers, it has to be an isosceles triangle. So, straight away we know that BC is equal to CA. And so we are looking at triangles, the AB is 1. Could be 1, 3, 3, 1, 2, 2, 1, 5, 5, something like this. And so AB is the base, C is here, D is here. We want to find the maximum possible value of angle ACD, maximum possible value of this angle. And so straight away we can sense that this base is set, you are taking it higher and higher, the angle becomes smaller and smaller or the maximum value will be when this is 1, 2, 2. Lovely. So let's do this, 1, 2, 2, draw this triangle, C, A, B, 2, 2, D, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. We want to find maximum value of this angle, we call this angle as alpha. Then sine of alpha is 0 0.5 by 2, which is 1 by 4. Sine of alpha is 1 by 4. And so sine 30 is half. This is half of that. So our angle is definitely less than 30. Closest to the maximum possible value. Closest to. So it is less than 30. So this is not this, not this, not this. Not this sign 15 must be close to 1 by 4. I don't think it'll be it'll be 1 by 4 exactly, but it must be close to 1 by 4. That's the answer we're looking. So we have to figure out some part we to make some geometry inferences. We need to find out where the ballpark is, and then after this, we shouldn't say, look, this is sine inverse of cos of this is find root 2 and etc. 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 We can even if you find the answer, you can't go anywhere with that. So we'll have to simplify it, switch off and say, hey. Where are we? What is the ballpark for this? And then take a chance.